What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to script ELS the updated way. So recently I've been streaming a decent amount and I get a lot of DMs or tickets in my support server on people asking, you know, what happened to the old way? Why are you doing it this way? So here's my explanation. So basically the old way, it was hit or miss. It would work with some cars and then the other cars it wouldn't. So basically this way, it's an update. It's, it's a little more complicated but it does work better. Um, so I'm gonna be teaching how to do that today. So you wanna get yourself a car, I'm gonna be using this 2013 FBIU. Like I said in you know, all the other ELS videos, do whatever car you want, but I'm gonna use this 2013 FBIU. So the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna go ahead and click on your car. You wanna go into it, you wanna go into the body. You're gonna create two models. So model, not material variant, you don't wanna do that. So model, and then you can go to this duplicate, this one, this one's going to be called capital light bar, capital L light bar, this one's going to be called capital O outfitting. Um, so then what you want to do is inside of your light bar, you want to add three models. So you can click on that one, hit control D it twice. So this is going to be called front, capital F R O N T. It's going to be called side, and this is going to be called rear. So once you do that, you can go ahead and grab your light bar. I'm going to be using this pre-lit federal signal. Spec Spectrolix, I think is what it's called. Um, I could leave the link in the description if you want it. Um, so now what you want to do. So you want to go ahead and just kind of size it down to fit your car. Um, I'm not going to make this look too perfect just because, um, you know, I'm not really selling this car or anything. So then what you want to do is you want to kind of click on your specter. Your sp I'm just going to call it the federal signal because I'm not tired. So I'm not going to say that name the entire time. So you want to drag your federal signal into the light bar. Um, if you are using a pre-lit light bar, you can go ahead and drag all your neons out of it. And you want to drag your neons into front. Because this is the front of the car, you want to drag the neons in the front. So anything in the front of the car, you drag into front. Anything in the side, you drag into the side. Anything into the rear, you drag into the rear. <clears throat> um, so then you want to take your specter. We don't want this anymore. Drag that into outfitting. Um... So make sure, obviously, these are already anchored. Um, but just to make sure they do shine through the windshield, you want to make them 0 0.05. That just basically makes them shine through the windshield a little better if it's darker. So just like this, pretty much. So now what you want to do, you're going to go ahead and add a folder. You're going to name that ELS. And then you want to go ahead and hit the plus sign and add a script. So this is where it gets a little more complicated. And this is where it gets a little different from the other things. And, you know, obviously, the more models is different. But the script is really where it gets complicated. Um, so you want to type ve equals script dot parent dot parent dot front. So if you're doing, you know, ELS on the back, you want the front to be changed to the back. Or if you don't like something on the side, it needs to be a side. So then you want to do while true do wait if script.parent.parent.values.on.value value equal to one then um, we could do the dot v1 dot Transparency equals zero. So basically, I'm just going to copy this because I don't feel like writing that the entire thing. So you're going to copy and paste that eight times or however many you have. Um, so basically, when they're all zeros, if it's a zero, it means the light is actually on. If it's a one, it means the light's off. So now what you want to do is you want to put else if script.parent.parent.values.on.value equals to then kind of just come up here 
get rid of that E. Come up here, paste that, and that's going to be all ones. Just because when I do stage two, I like stage two to just be the back that's flashing. <clears throat> um, so now you can do else if script.parent.parent.values dot on dot value equals three then kind of paste that we're going to do a very simple script um, you can always up it a little bit you know make it you know maybe do some strobes some for loops some color changing it, it doesn't really matter um, so what you want to do is you can just go zero one zero 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 one zero one zero one zero one, zero, one and then you want the wait time to be zero point one so you're going to copy this paste that there and then everything everything that's a one needs to be a zero and then everything that was a zero needs to be a one and a lot of people get confused so it needs to be the exact opposite of what this is so now what you want to do is you want to hit enter backspace else and you can kind of come up here take this paste so there's your script but basically if you're doing it to where the windows are tenant you need to make sure all your zeros are 0 0.05 so you can kind of just copy this. Make sure all your zeros are 0 0.05 or else it will not shine through the window. They will still flash, but you'd actually have to zoom in into the window to actually see them. So there's your script. So there's your stage three script. It's not much different than the old one. You know, this is a little different and then obviously these are a little different um, but other than that they're the same so you want to hit apply edits close tab you can rename this visor and then basically you want to go ahead and take one of your cars so right now I'm gonna take this realistic car I'm working on um, I will leave a link in the description with a car that has all this in it so you want to go into the car yeah, light bar, and you want to grab this remote folder, the strobes folder, values folder, and the middle folder. You want to copy, and you want to paste into the light bar. So boom, just kind of move that in your car, just like so. And then obviously, your pickup. So I'm going to get rid of all this just because I don't do park scripts on this one. Um, then you can go in here, and you want to get the correct drive seat which in the drive seat there should be pickup and tower control um, and then you want to paste that into the drive seat so now hypothetically your car should work um, you want to go ahead and you hit play here go into the car kind of give it a minute because these cars are eon wear so they kind of flip out if they don't get a chance to load um, so there's your stage one, there's your stage two, which is nothing, and there's your stage three. So you just scripted stage three in a less, the updated and the better way. Um, yeah. So if you did enjoy this video, my name has been Brayden. Stay safe and take care.